empty and uh, I'm gonna be doing what called decking up the Jeep so that I can travel up to our yard in Federal Way. Um, not necessarily required by law. Some states I would be, but here I'm not. It just will make things easier for me to get into the yard. So, this portion right here, it goes from the truck and comes down like that. And then that's the trailer right there that connects to that. That's what's called the Jeep. So I'll be detaching right here. Um, well actually, sorry. This neck to the trailer stays on the Jeep. I'll be detaching right there and then backing this whole unit up onto my trailer, tying it down, and then using this short neck up here to reattach the trailer there and drive off. I don't have a tripod, so um, I can't, I'd love to be able to do like a time-lapse video of this to show you the process, but uh, I'll check back in once, I'll probably do a couple in process and then I'll check back in once it's all loaded. So that's what it looks like when you drop the trailer from the Jeep. And once you detach it like that, you come up here underneath the trailer. That big collar that's hanging up on that chain that was down around that pin. Call those dog bones. So you gotta release those dog bones. Now when I connect back to the trailer, the neck will pivot up. And then the chain right here you pull that releases that pin right there. And then the neck will detach from the trailer. That's what I'm about to do now. So once you back back under and you're connected back to the trailer, this here, this power tower or top hat, whatever you're used to calling it, that's a hydraulic that goes up and down. I'm not gonna run it right now because uh, it's really loud or run the audio. But you raise it up and then you flip these blocks up and then you lower it back down and now it pivots on that point which then in turn lifts the rat tail out of the mousetrap. And so now I'm free from the trailer, I can drive away. I'm already up on my ramps to drive it up on the trailer, but anyhow, I'll continue backing this on, I'll back it all the way up on the trailer, and basically do the same process with this neck up here off of the Jeep. I'll show you that next. All right, there it is on the trailer decked up still attached to the truck so now i'm going to do the detach i'll get it all chained down break that neck off of that right there from uh, that point and then i'll reconnect it down here so now that that's all tied down I'll do the same thing here detach the truck crawl up under here There's a dog bone, there's one. Gotta remove those, remove those airlines, and we'll hook back up to it. Pull the chain over here that holds the pin, and we'll detach this neck. One really important part. <coughs> so, this little ramp here is where, probably can't see it in there, but that's where that pin and the rat tail goes in the mouse trap to hold this neck to this trailer. And it'll come out here so you want to make sure that just barely behind the one we're going to try and reconnect to on the trailer deck if this part was sticking out over the top of this we'd never get reconnected you don't want it too far back up on the trailer because then it makes it hard this part of the deck your truck tires hit this and you can't get up there to detach it anyhow just a little side note there you want that as close to that as possible it's almost straight up and down above it so here comes a really tricky part. So since that neck is so high up, because the Jeep is on the trailer, you gotta put a lot of extra blocking under there to support it while you detach. And then sometimes it still doesn't lift it enough to release this pin in there. It's down in there. 
Oh, anyhow. And then when you go to reattach, the neck will be really high in the air because you've got all this blocking supporting it. I'll show you what we do for that. So we got the neck detached from the Jeep. But like I was saying, because of all that blocking under there, now it's sitting almost three feet too high to reconnect. So what we do here, take a chain, run it through there, back up to here, it will drive forward. When that chain tightens, it'll lift that neck up, pull some of that extra blocking out from under there, gently lower it back down, and then we'll connect. Let me show you that. So there you are, You've got the chain, wrapped it through there on each side, up to the top. Climb up there and show you. Inside through there. Now what'll happen when I pull forward, as that chain tightens, it'll lift this neck up. I can pull the blocks out. Hold on. Chains are nice and tight. Hold that neck up considerably. Now it's able to take all that extra blocking out of there. Now I'll back up. It'll ease it back down on that block. Come out, pull the chains. And then I'll be able to connect back into that mousetrap down there. All right, now it's detached from my truck. All I gotta do is hook up the dog bones and the airlines, drive back underneath it, and we're good to go.